Dude, dude, Matt, you're back, dude. Let's Congrats. Go. I haven't seen you since last week. I and know. for those of you out there who care to know, Matt just got married. Let's go. Yeah, so uh, that's why he's sitting back, relaxed, off his diet, doesn't care. Dude. She can't get away now. Luckily, I only gained two pounds, which is kind of dope. That's pretty normal. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah pretty that's not chill. bad, dude. For, I'm for to... being gone for like a full week and eating out and dude. doing whatever you want. And yeah, that's uh, that's a that's you came out the other side on skate there. Yeah, I did, which is awesome. <clears throat> but yeah, man, it was yeah. Beautiful, blessed, grateful. Everything worked out perfect. The weather yeah. was like insane. Yeah, that it was. It was. Yeah, I think the only thing you weather. could ask for different was to win your match. Yeah, that was. Uh, <laughs> we played really good. Uh, I think we lost. We were we were eight under, and Joe was ten under, or something like that. No, yeah. I mean it was it was awesome. Joe single handedly demolished uh, Tiki and I. Yeah, it was pretty impressive. Jared was just along for the ride. He made some putts. He did. <laughs> like I'll give him some credit. He made some eighteen. Eighteen. He made a a, a a par putt that was uh, pretty impressive. The whole entire cur- course heard about it. Nice. I mean, nice. on his knees, screaming. You know, very uh, excited. That's like when he beat Natalie too. <laughs> yeah. over there but she gave him like every stroke yeah yeah five strokes aside and had to play the same team yeah 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 yeah. that's even worse because he did one with rob where he gave him 10 aside which is insane because there's only nine holes on each side yeah that's pretty funny but dude anyways man we're we're doing this quick episode um this one is not going to be so much about the app but this one's just about some cool stuff that we have going on a really big event for the driving range coming up here Uh, i don't know when this is going to get posted but today is the 26th of April. Yeah. And on May 8th, our good friends, uh, Garrett, Bubby, Steven, the whole good, good, good crew. Good, good. Just found out Martin Borgmeyer is going to play with them, too. Dude. Uh, they're doing their meetup, dude. They have their yeah. tournament that's up at Kierland. Um, that's going to be a super cool event they've got going on. Yeah, they've, got some, to see. they've got some big names. Yeah, I'm I was, excited to see who ends up winning and yeah. how that all is received. But I know a few other people who got some... Um, some of the media passes and they're super excited to go just be inside the ropes it sounds like the good good guys are going to be hanging out like talking to those people too like yeah. actually you know hanging out with everyone which will be sweet i know they're uh you know they're just they're just good dudes and i'm excited to see the event go because i haven't seen anything like this before yeah i know i mean just from looking at it and i think i think natalie and i are going to get some media passes i talked to their guy and he was really cool about yeah. it but um, um, Luke Peavy will be there. Zach Radford will be there, uh, which I'm actually really excited to follow him because every video that he does, he's like two, three, four under, and they're like really yeah. hard courses. So I'm like, man, is this guy really that good? He's got to be good, yeah, right? Yeah, you get to see firsthand. That's yeah. Sick. It's it's like a lot of like Corn Fairy and Mini Tour players, and like it's a pretty big deal. I mean, a hundred thousand dollar pot. They just unleashed the trophy today, which is pretty sick. Yeah, I saw so, that. that yeah, so, dope. dude, I'm like, I'm pumped, and it's a Monday qualifier and then a, a Tuesday media day and then a 12 man for two days. So yeah. it's a, it's a long, it tournament. is, it's like a four day thing. <laughs> yeah. So that's going to be sick. I'm and, super uh, pumped. Yeah. And shout out to Kierland. Cause I, from what I understand, they are like still open. They're not like closed those days. Yeah. The tea times so are like do, first thing out. They're yeah. Like so they're going to do like public around them and, and it seems like they have a plan, which is cool. It's cool just to hear that other courses are taking that t- sort of stuff in stride. I think like two years ago, nobody would even answer their I phone agree. calls. Yeah. funny enough and so um now just to see where it's all come and just to see golf courses adapting to doing out of the box events has been super sick yeah yeah it was funny i was talking to one of or i was talking to, to jared their guy that does a lot of the uh, uh merch sales and stuff yeah. like that really really awesome dude just the nicest guy ever and he was saying that they were playing with one of the competitors when they were out here a couple weeks ago and he shot like eight under so, yeah so yeah. like the scores could tear get it up they could tear that golf course it's open like it's not a tight course so like off the tee box isn't going to lose you anything you just it's, go forward yeah exactly yeah. It's, it's all going to come down to short game of putting nice which i think will be cool but with that being said dude that monday night we got that 3v3 and then a range meetup afterwards. Yeah, bro. yeah. So that's that's what brought them to town, obviously. And then Monday night, like Matt just alluded to, they're going to be out here in Mesa at Dobson Ranch. Um, starting at 6 o'clock is when they're going to go out at Dobson, and it's going to be a 3v3. I don't remember the pairings, but Martin is going to be the sixth player. So I think it's like um, Martin, Garrett, and Steven. Against the against other three. Against Luke. Bubby, Bubby and Matt and uh and Matt. Yeah. Cuz Luke is is like a Corn Ferry tour oh, cool. level. Like he could yeah, be a yeah, PGA yeah. level player. For sure. Matt's got like one of the smoothest swings ever. Bubby is just awesome and pounds yeah. a golf ball. Yeah. He's like our kind of golfer where it's just sure. like, yeah, bro, I'm just going to like nail this thing out here Dude. as far as I can. But he yeah. does it really well. 
and has hit some clutch shots. And then, dude, Martin Borgmeier. Yeah. I can't wait for him to watch you swing. Like, I want <laughs> I want his opinion on your swing. I'm going to be at softball, maybe. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> yeah, right? But it's like, dude, do you uh, think – I mean, he hits the ball 400 pretty easy. Yeah, dude. There's no Do you think he'll drive hole that. one? Do you think he can drive hole one? Ooh, I, well, I don't even know how long hole one is. That's so bad. It's got to be like five. Like stretched out. You got to remember, it's going to be pretty warm. So like the oh, ball sure. is going to. I bet you he's got a hundred or less in on one. Because I. What did, what did Micah I've have been, during your first match? I don't remember what Micah had, but I've been inside the 150 marker on one. Like yeah. Martin can be inside a hundred yards for, for sure. sure. Yeah, for sure. And uh, that was from the tips, by the way. I'm not saying that I played from, like, the whites or something. I, it was from as far back as we had it. But, dude, yeah, Martin's going to eat, like, I, three. He's going to have to hit a driving iron and probably still go over the green on two and three. Oh, for sure. Like, yeah. he's going to have a lot of fun because we're really pretty open just as long as he doesn't hit backyards. Um, yeah, yeah, he might blow a house down with yeah, yeah. the golf ball goes. Um, but yeah, man. So it's going to be a super cool event. It's going to be completely open to the public. I'm sitting here recommending get out here at 5:30, um, just so you guys can check in. If you haven't been to Dobson before, take your time, walk around. Our barn restaurant's going to be open. Yes, the sir. range will be winding down so that we can set it up for all the cool games and stuff. Uh, but they're gonna they want everyone to walk along. It's just like yeah. the other meetup that they did. They want people following. They want it to be a super basically just a hype fest and then afterwards sunsets around 7 15 we're all going to make our way back over to the smashes on golf and entertainment center over on the range Let's go. we have uh they're going to have like a pop-up tent with a bunch of their good good merch that's going to be out there for people to buy yeah they've got like a hundred putters coming too. yeah we got a hundred of their putters and i know those sold out pretty much instantly really last time yeah. they did a drop which is cool we actually have some left-handed ones that got confirmed yeah, on dude, instagram yeah, today dude, we were, yep. let's go it, we need to fix that. It's going to be 10 after I get my Yeah, exactly. On. Yeah, I think there's um, 11 coming. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have a putting contest. The Callaway booth is going to be there doing a fitting, and I think we're going to do some long drive out of that, and Martin cool. will probably be hanging over there. And then we're going to do some closest to the pin contest with a handful of the bays, and we're going to take probably the winners from all the different games we do. And um, Good Good's been cool enough to let us do – those winners get to play in like a shootout against some of them yeah so you know we're really going for that kind of high intensity moment it's it's funny because matt and i know about this we did an event for some asu students for one of the sororities their big philanthropy and it was probably one of the top four most intense moments at dobson when you had these event. three guys oh, yeah. they each won a different game their chapter did and so they each had to pick one guy to represent their house yep. they each got five shots at a close to the pin it came down to like last kid second to last ball well it was cool because like yeah. the, the crowd was all around them yeah we were actually on up. the range yeah, it, it was, was like so hitting off whatever tee box that it is yeah. Augusta that famous picture and so they were hitting and then they all stormed the range like it was the freaking yeah, coolest thing so, so I can only imagine now with probably five times as many people and some like really really good golfers um, I think there's going to be some cool stuff going on and we're we're going to be doing the, our usual thing we always run contests and give away things anyways at Dobson so that'll be cool as an aside too Martin happened to be in town for something kind of unrelated yeah that's and true. one of his sponsors is running a long drive uh, tournament it's live right now yep five bucks to enter on the smashers on app it is a long drive contest uh, yeah, sponsored Mista by Golf. Mista Golf. Yeah, Mista Golf. Awesome protein yep, bars yep. and protein shakes. Really cool dude. And there's like three divisions or is it one division? No, it's just one just contest. One division. The, way, the, yep. the route we went was one contest, five bucks to enter, download the app, look for the live events. It should be the only long drive that's going right now. And all you have to do is log a score. Yep. It doesn't matter if you win, lose, hit it 50 yards, 500 yards. Doesn't matter what your score ends up being. It's going to make you eligible for a raffle. They're going to raffle off 10 Mista Golf prize packages. It's got a shirt, a water bottle, some of their protein supplements. Yep. Um, and I don't remember. I feel like there was one other thing too. You get a, well, the, the big, big thing with yeah, that one is there's one, one grand free, prize winner. Yeah, you get a free lesson in front of everyone from Martin Borgmeyer yes. on long drive. Yeah, and I think that's on the following day after the yep. the the that good is, good meetup is meet up. It's on Tuesday the yeah. 9th. Yeah, so exactly. that first part of that week is going to be sweet. No one's going to have Sunday scaries. It's going to be super dope. Yeah. Um, so you guys can compete from any range, by the way. Uh, you can do it from any top tracer range. That's all you need. Obviously, if you're the random lucky person and you're not local to AZ, we'll figure something out. I don't know what Mr. Golf has in mind, but we're going to be pushing hardcore here starting today until that event closes for people on our range and the different ranges here in Phoenix with top tracer just to participate 
um, and get their chance to meet Martin and do a long for drive sure. lesson. It's such um, a cool time. I mean, for, I'm going for it. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. It's such a cool yeah. time for a Smashers on Golf and Entertainment Center, right? Like, there's so much going on. Yep. With that, I mean, we have other range events that are going on too later on that week. It's just yeah. like it's crazy, man. It's yeah. So much. And fun. Um, even starting before those things, um, a couple things. And I know we both got a lot of stuff today, so we'll yep. keep this this whole episode just kind of short. But starting a week before, so this coming Monday, probably when this episode's getting posted. Mikey and the team in uh, Florida are going to be doing the Smash Golf Tour yes, on sir. the um, Smashers On app as well. That's going to be our first league. The league function just got launched like a couple days ago. So registration for the league itself will be free. They're going to do weekly prizes. They're going to do a series prize. I don't know how many weeks they're going to run it yet. Um, and this one, we're going to try it out where the league's free to join and you can pay per event. So it's up to you how many events you do. That. Obviously, if you're going for the long-term prize, um, you wanna play in as many. Um, points are gonna be awarded based on how you do, but if you stay consistent, uh, then you probably will have a good chance at the series and they'll probably do something along the lines of the each week's event will start on a Monday. You'll have till that following Sunday and then it's just going to recycle. E1 ends, we approve all the scores, event two starts and so on until the series is over. We'll have net and gross division type things running too. So we're going to try and get tons of people to get in on it. We'll try all sorts of different formats and then Two weeks after they've started, we're going to start the Phoenix one, which I'm so excited pumped. for yeah, because so to my knowledge, and I was talking to Jill at Top Tracer, we're probably going to be the first group of people to get these Top Tracer ranges doing something together, like collaboratively. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Because, Shout out to you know, the ranges too for yeah. having an open mind. Yep. I mean, like everyone has been really cool. Jace over at Bel Air, Scott and Stewart with Greenfield, yep, yep. obviously. And Kurt I had my meeting it. with Kurt yeah. and Jay at so uh, cool. Augusta this week, and that was the last one to kind of wrap it up. And we're all on board to give away some cool prizes yep. for, for our guests. Um, I think we're going to do just a four week series and we're going to do each week will be kind of sponsored by one of the four courses. So okay. it'll be like their chance to give some stuff away. All of these events in true smashes on fashion, people will be able to win smash cash just so you all can get used to what the concept is, what you're playing for when you play in these events. We have all the gift cards that are currently loaded up and some of those ranges um, are working on how they can get their buckets and their codes up so people can earn more practice balls just yeah, by going dude, out and practicing so uh, we have a lot of a lot of cool buy-in right now and uh, this is going to be a good first round and we're not going to stop afterwards i dig it dude I, i'm really excited i mean for all the events are really cool in their own right obviously the good good one just from the magnitude yeah. of, of what it is and who's going to be here and how many people I'm so excited to see just that turnout and that energy and that vibe. And I think that there's a lot of opportunity to meet them and to win prizes and to compete. And there's just a lot going on, right? Sure. And then obviously with what's going on in the Smash Golf Tour, and we'll be updating you guys at home on that consistently throughout so that you can see who's winning, why they're winning, what the consistency is, how the formats work. And then the Arizona one. I mean, just the, the, the way that each range has come in and just like undeniably said, yeah, we'll do it. Yep. Like, let's go ahead. I think that's an awesome idea. And to see like, who's going to come out of that. You yeah. Know, I think it's, it's net and gross. There's, you know what I mean? So yep. there's, there's a lot going on there that it just makes it really exciting times to be a part of and actively using smashers on. Yep. Yep. For sure. So no, man, appreciate you taking the time. I yeah. know we both got tons of stuff on our plate and as of course, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about these upcoming events, drop some comments below, make sure you guys hit subscribe, throw us a like, just so you can stay in tune. Uh, we're going to aim to do at least one of these sit downs a week uh, just sure. to keep you guys up to snuff on what's going on. Hopefully as questions start to flow in, we'll do some live answering or some, some not live answering, however we end up doing it. Dude, I would love to but, do uh, like dude, questions yeah. and live answers and people and, join uh, in. I think that'd be really yeah. fun. And we got to figure it out because unfortunately the slow time for us is when it's the hottest. So the cameras don't like the heat, that is but true. I'm sure that this summer we'll go back to doing some of our own stuff on the range, so whether it's live streams or matches and we'll film them. And yeah. so that'll be some cool stuff too. Um, just trying to find out, uh, you know, keep, keep things spicy, you know, Let's try go, not dude. to get bored. I love it, dude. So thank you guys so much. And we'll see you next time. Smashers on.